Hi guys, in this question we'll be going through the following question. For the 150 kilogram block shown in the figure below, determine the force required P to push the block up the incline with an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared. The kinetic friction coefficient is mu k equal to 0.3 between the block and the inclined plane. So in this example, um, we need to first draw the free body diagram. So our first force is given to us, that's the direction of the force P, and it's parallel to this uh, surface which we've got here. Um, we have a weight force uh, which will act directly downwards. The value of this will be 150 uh, kilograms multiplied by 9.81. Okay, um, now the next thing is we know that the block is going to be moving up the incline. So we have an acceleration of the block, um, so A, and this is equal to 2.5 meters per second squared, sorry, that is. Now if we call this the x direction towards the right, and we call this the y direction going down, uh, uh, normal to the surface. Uh, we would call this acceleration the acceleration in the direction, um, the x direction here. Now the ground will provide a normal reaction force. This will be at right angles to the ground surface and we will have a friction force which acts in the direction opposite to our uh, motion. So the block is moving towards the right, so our accelerate, uh, sorry, our force of friction will act towards the left. So this will be F and we'll have a normal reaction force here. Okay, now if this angle here is 20 degrees, it follows that um, the angle of the normal force with respect uh, to here will be 20 degrees and therefore this angle here will be at 20 degrees, so angles opposing here. Right. so the next stage here is to do the equations of equilibrium. So we know that the forces in the y direction should balance, uh, so we'll start with that. So the sum of forces in the y direction should be equal to the mass times the acceleration of the body in the y direction. If the block is sliding in the x direction, there is no acceleration in the y, so this value here is equal to zero. So we can write down that the normal force minus 150 times 9.81 times cosine of 20, so that's the y component of that force, um, is equal to zero. So we can rearrange this equation and solve for the normal force. All right. So we get the normal force equal to 150 times 9.81 times cosine of 20. So 150 times 9.81 times cosine of 20. And we get 1382.8 newtons. Okay. Now for this situation, um, the friction force um, in this case will be equal to the normal force times the friction coefficient. So we can write the equation, um, force of friction due to the kinetic situation here is equal to mu k times the normal force. So then we can find uh, F the force of friction is equal to the kinetic friction coefficient, which we've had in the question as 0 0.3, multiplied by our normal force, which is 1382.8 uh, newtons. Okay, and then so now we can find um, our value here just by multiplying by 0 0.3, and the friction force is 414.8. Newtons. Okay, the next step is to look at the forces in the x direction. And so what we have here is P going towards the positive x, F in the negative x direction, 
and a component of the weight in the negative x direction. So the sum of forces in the x direction is equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction. We have P uh, minus uh, F so P in the right, F um, minus the sine of 20 multiplied by 150 times 9.81. So this is the force times its angle. Um, and then, sorry, uh, force times the component of that section based on the sine of that and we can then find the x component. So this is equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction. So the mass was 150 uh, kilograms in the question and ax is what we're trying to find. Um, all right, so well, ax is actually given to us, sorry. So that was equal to 2.5 and we can rearrange here. So p equal to f plus 150 times 9.81 times sine 20 and plus 150 times AX which was given as 2.5 okay and then now we can uh, solve so F was 414.8 uh, plus 150 times 9.81 times sine 20 plus 150 times 2.5 and we get 1293.1 newtons. So this is the force required to be pushed onto the block in order to make this block move up the incline with an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful for you um, and I'll see you soon.